Good job, good job last night, too. Oh, man. Uh, that was <laughs> Kevin in the second unit bringing us back. Man. Did you get to sleep on the plane at all? Yeah, I passed out probably for like the last hour. Did y'all? Or did y'all get here today? I didn't get here yesterday. So we got here yesterday. Oh, I feel great. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> I'm a little jealous. Yeah, I know. They were thinking ahead. I may pop in. Do you have questions you want to ask first? Oh, you can go ahead. jump in and get a one-on-one -on -one real quick. That's fine. Okay. Stand up here beside you. Sounds great. All right. All right. Well, we're here at All Star Weekend with, of course, Reggie Jackson making your first appearance in the weekend. What are you most looking forward to? Uh, just competing, trying to win. Just making most of it and then going out and supporting my teammates, Stephen Adams, and then uh, Rising Star Challenge, and then Kevin and NBA All Star Weekend. So just trying to have fun with it and just enjoy the weekend. Does it make it even more special that you have so many players here, Steve and Kevin, and the whole coaching staff here with you? Yeah, it definitely does. Um, you don't feel alone. You definitely have some familiar faces. It's good to see you all. So it's definitely familiar. So I enjoy it and try to enjoy you know, the NBA Cares part of it as well. Just have fun with the whole thing and you know, just support the whole. Like I said, my teammates and stuff. Is there something that you're hoping maybe people get to see about your game that maybe they don't normally get to see in a regular atmosphere? Uh, you know, being born or doing the challenge together, so I don't know how it's going to work yet, but I might try to do a trick down here and there to finish it, but that's about it. I might try to show them a little more athletic than people may believe, but that's about it. A little more flash. Yeah, maybe just a little more flash for the All-Star Weekend. What does it mean to come down here and get to represent Oklahoma City? You guys go into the break on top of the West. Is there a sense of pride in, in knowing that you're a part of the Thunder? Uh, very prideful, especially uh, the community aspect. Those are our team, how close that we are. We go hand in hand. So anytime you get to go out there, especially um, represent that community and all that they do, because you know, they're basically a representation of them. And, they mean so much to us. And I'm honored. And so I'm just going to try to have fun with it and win for it. Anybody give you some good advice before you came, Coach, Katie? Uh, just have fun. Everybody's been on me about, um, you know, being a little fancy on the dunk. I better have <laughs> a, <laughs> some tricks up my sleeve and then um, I better go out here and compete. So everybody's been on my back about that. It's not just necessarily all fun, but definitely still competition. I think we've gotten to see some tricks throughout the season, so maybe they're just putting some added pressure on you for fun. Yeah, that, that <laughs> might be it, but uh, hopefully I can live up to it. All right, thanks, Reddy. Okay. You mentioned doing some dunks. Have you ever been, do you want to be in the dunk contest someday? Because you're a guy that's kind of known for even being a small guy that can get up there and throw down some dunks. Yeah, um, I wouldn't rule it out, but I definitely, I was told I was mentioned as possibly an alternate. I'm happy I didn't get picked. I don't want to be necessarily rewarded maybe for being shorter and dunking on <laughs> I actually want to have some new tricks up my sleeve if I can do anything, but the guys that are in the competition, they have <laughs> all the right to be there, guys like Paul George. And I'm actually looking forward to seeing what John Wall and Damon Lillard can do, especially being, um, I guess, bigger point guards around the 6'3 area, athletic. But, uh, guys like Terrence Ross, uh, Ben McLemore, you know, those guys, 6'6 six, six and above, with the athleticism they have, they can put their flash on it, probably bring out some new tricks that people have been waiting to see in the dunk contest, so it should be a fun one. So who are you picking to win then? You like John, John Wall? Uh, I don't know who to pick. Uh, that's kind know. of my pick right now. So. That's, that's what, I see John during the summer, Paul during the summer a lot, and we end up working out together and then seeing some tricks that they have. Um, it's going to be a special one, especially also working with Terrence. I really can't choose. Uh, I can just root for the guys that I know and just... I guess, like all fans do, just root for a good show. Can you describe what the last year has been like for you? You went from being an integral part on a bench of a really good team to being thrust in the starting lineup, then having to go back to the bench when Russell Westbrook came back to now being back in there, now being here at All-Star Weekend. What's the last year been for you when it's come to your game and how people have been able to see you develop as a player? Uh, it's just been a season of ups and downs and trying to learn how to take the roller coaster ride and be even killed. Just trying to do whatever I can for my teammates and my team to try to rack up as many wins as possible. And I enjoy the ride. You know, we're looking to try to do something special, but just trying to have fun with it, get better each and every day. And like I said, hopefully at the end of the year, be there poison trophy. Is it nice to know that you went from, you're not just someone who's there along for the ride, but you're an integral part to one of the, the best teams in the NBA right now? Oh, uh, yeah, it's a good feeling to, I guess, probably be seen, thought of that you know, at Cornerstone, maybe for your team. But, uh, you said being an integral part just puts a little more pressure on you, but 
I mean, that's why we're here. I think everybody likes it. Everybody wants to be the best that they can be and help in any way they can. And I'm just trying to get better each and every day and help my teammates out. Reggie, how, how does it feel working with uh, Kevin Durant and, and what have you learned? <laughs> uh, what I've learned, especially on this streak for Kevin, playing with Kevin Durant is just get him to the fourth quarter. Just trying to figure <laughs> out how to get the team to be there, to be in the game in the fourth quarter, and then just let him be himself. Right. Does, West, does Westbrook give you any encouragement? Or like, How does that work, knowing that you stepped up and you've uh, been like, you know? Uh, Westbrook's been my biggest advocate. Um, he's been on me since the day I got here at Oklahoma City about just being aggressive. So trying to figure out how to play in attack mode and let things come to me after that necessary passing lane. So, you know, he's giving me great advice, but he's always only about just being aggressive defensively, offensively, and then just going out and enjoying the game. Right. You could argue that there's nine or ten teams in the West that probably deserve to make the playoffs. What, what do you make of how competitive the West has been and kind of what do you think the next two months are going to be like? It's fun. Um, teams bearing down. Grinding each and every game out, trying to figure out ways to win. Uh, it was fun to see the race. Uh, not just a race at the top, but also a race just one through eight, figuring out seeding possibly or who's going to be in the playoffs and who's not. Makes every game we play just that much more important, that much more fun. And every game matters, especially, like you said, the competition in the West. You never know how far you can jump up or jump down. So great players, uh, great competition, always having fun with it and just trying to figure out ways to win. Can you talk again about representing your team and your fans in the city of Oklahoma City? Oh, it's amazing. It is, I'm very honored. And I didn't necessarily expect to be here, but definitely going to try to make the most of it. Like I said, uh, just representing that community and everything that's happened on tornadoes and more, and then doing community service with that. And just from day one, being a part of the community and how they've embraced myself and how they continue to embrace the team. You always want to go out here and represent them the best way you can with all respect. and uh, Just go out here and be competitive and have fun with it. Hopefully we can bring back a trophy for them. And like I said, I just want to be a great representative for them. I show how humble and grounded we are and just how hard working we are. Reggie, how's your all-star weekend going so far? Uh, you know, got in at 6 a.m. and now had the meetings at 11. Um, a little tiresome, but I'm not super tired, I guess. Just the atmosphere and being here uh, kind of waking me up and I think waking all of us up. So just trying to have the most fun as we can with it and just enjoy it. And about the skills challenge, I mean, that competition, I mean, it, it, it you know requires a lot of things, compared to dunk and uh, three point, but the, you have to be good in general. Yeah, right? uh, I think all the challenges are pretty difficult. They ask certain things from um, the dunkers. It requires a lot of your legs, uh, especially if you miss a dunk, you have to go back out there and try to, I guess, try to get butterflies out your stomach and just be ready to go ahead and put it down uh, the next time you have a crack at it. But that uh, skill challenge is going to be fun. You know, I'm teamed up with Born Drive just from the Phoenix Suns. We've been playing well this year. Just, we're gonna, I guess we're going to try to figure out a way to have the fastest time in this competition. Hopefully both of us can bring out a win. When it comes to how competitive the West is, uh, like the guy mentioned earlier, you guys have wins, two wins over the Blazers, wins over the Rockets, Spurs, you destroyed the Heat and Miami. What is it about your guys' team that you kind of seem to you're, you have a lot of wins against some of the best teams in the NBA? You destroyed the Pacers at home. Is there something where you guys go into each game with that mindset, hey, we need to prove ourselves? Are you guys just that good where it doesn't matter the competition, you guys are going to beat the elite teams of the NBA? Well, I think Derek Fisher says the best before us each and every game. As a lady, he's been telling us, you know, it's not really about the opponent, it's about us getting better. And, uh, you know, with the championships that he's accumulated over the years, he has so much wisdom. Uh, I believe it was probably the same. A speech in their locker room that it's always about yourself and uh, putting yourself first and just getting better each and every day if you want to end at the pinnacle of basketball. So we're just trying to figure out ways to get better each and every day. You know, we don't disrespect any of our opponents. We watch film on them. We go through their plays. We go through their sets um, the best of our ability. But at the end of the day, we know it's more about ourselves. We can control what we want to control. And we do things the way um, the Thunder way and the way that we believe and we buy into everybody competing and being part of the team you know, defensively and offensively, but at the end of each game, we can honestly say if we put all our effort into it, we have a chance to win. So I think that's just been our approach as of late. What's been the key to your guys' defense? It kind of turned it up there around December. You guys kind of went on, a, I believe, a 20, a 20 and 3 stretch where you 20 wins, 3 losses. Your defense was playing really What was the key to your guys' defense kind of clamping down on the opponents there? Um, individual pride. Everybody's taking individual pride and guarding their own man. Um, guards. I think we're getting better on the perimeter. 
uh, myself, I still have to get a lot better in that aspect, especially playing the starting role. There's so many great point guards, like you said, in the West and even in the East, and always in attack mode. But our bigs, they anchor our defense. Kendrick Perkins, you know, Serge Ibaka, who's one of the best shot blockers in the league. Uh, Perk's one of the best communicators on defense. He's one of the best pick and roll defenders. So playing against him in practice is even difficult. So guys like that, Nick Collison, who takes charges, and Steven Adams, who's getting better each and every day. And we haven't even got to see much of Fashim to beat. Our bigs do a great you know, job for us. They're an integral part of our defense scheme. And they, they basically quarterback the defense, whether what coverage we're in, what we're going to do uh, defensively in pick and rolls, and just trying to get two men on the ball. And then um, we're trying to get better on our weak side. So we don't really rest easy. Um, no matter what play it is, we're just we're going. Uh, I think the first thing we always watch on film is defense. So that's something that coach has been preaching to us. Um, I think players have been taking the mindset of trying to get better and taking upon ourselves to just go ahead and lock up individually and just continue communicating and get better each and every day. You mentioned your bigs when it comes to defense. I imagine the length of your team, too. Thabo Sefalosh is a long guy. You're a pretty long guy. And Jeremy Lamb in particular, a guy whose wingspan is crazy long. Uh, what have you seen from him as far as defense to kind of help him uh, assimilate to the team and how that's tra uh, transferred over to his offensive game? Uh, like you said, I think the length aspect of it uh, helps us out. Um, being able to get in tag cutters as well as get out and protect the three-point line, which has become a new fad in the NBA. Everybody wants to get three-point shots and get pain points. So our length really helps us challenge at the rim. And uh, anytime you have a guy like Serge back there, everybody's scared. But Jeremy, his genetic makeup is freaky. Uh, I think 6'11 wingspan. You know, he's pretty explosive. He does a great job of jumping past the lanes. And then I think um, our team is just kind of the makeup of it is different. We have guys who can gamble, get on pass lanes, and create havoc. And then we have guys who like to just play solid on the ball. So you never know what you're going to get, I think. And Tabo does a great job of guarding the best perimeter player each and every night. And then he also, at times, guards the point guard. So he's, he can guard one through three. And like you said, I think our link that helps us just have so many cross matches that we can switch at times. And you know, whereas sometimes uh, they're attacking us with pick and roll, thinking that we're going to necessarily a switch would be a bad thing. Anybody can defend anybody, and we're doing a better job helping each other out. So I think it's just helping. When you watch a confident guy, you know, 